Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In Access, you are manipulating a contained collection of smaller objects. This is a database. Although the terms database and table are often used interchangeably, in Access you should refer to the entire collection of tables, queries, forms, reports, and macros as the database and only refer to tables as tables for clarity's sake. Now a table is a collection of data about a certain subject, like customers, vendors, or suppliers. It consists of columns and rows into which you store data. The columns all contain only one type of data and are called fields. For example, in a customer database you might have a first name field into which you place only your customers first names. The rows in the table all contain one set of related field information for a single entry and are called records. So for example in your customer database you may have a customer record that contains all of the field information about that customer within one row. Now Access is also what is referred to as a relational database program. In a relational database, you store large amounts of data into the smallest possible increments, the tables. You then relate these tables together by joining common fields between them. In this way, you store less redundant data and your database will also operate more quickly and efficiently. Now when you relate tables, you are then able to access any data in the related tables. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.